Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to do another five minute how-to video. My last five minute how-to video went really well and uh, we're going to do it again. So we are going to replace the fuel pump and fuel filter today on an Onan QG5500 RV generator. Very common unit and uh, also common uh, the fuel pumps going bad on these things. So I have uh, one ready to go. This one's acting up and we're going to replace it under five minutes. So here we go. Super easy. That's right, it is super easy. So let's go ahead and start with a roll call on supplies. We got a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. We have vice grips, a couple of adjustable wrenches. I'd recommend 13s here if you're not ghetto like I am. We've got a small flathead screwdriver. You can use a slightly bigger one if you're feeling like an overachiever. Our Chinese fuel pump and our genuine Onan fuel filter. The reason I don't have a genuine Onan fuel pump is because they're ridiculously overpriced and the Chinese one works just as fine. So here you have the Made in China Water Witch uh, branded fuel pump. This is right off of Amazon and as you can see it looks just like the one that is on the generator. Just as reliable too because the Onan one breaks all the time. So I keep one maybe two of these on hand at any given moment in the RV. It also comes with this fuel filter. Now you'll notice I have the genuine Onan one here. That's because the Chinese one has this weird screw on nipple thing and I don't trust it. So yeah, I trust the fuel pump, but I don't trust the fuel filter. Does that make sense to you? I didn't think so. Now go ahead and climb underneath and you're gonna see this guy, which looks like the guy we have in the box. Also, there's a shiny Onan fuel filter here because I just put one on last week. Hey, spoiler alert, the fuel filter didn't fix my issue. So we're gonna put this fuel pump on first. We wanna match it up, make sure it matches the one on your unit. And we're gonna disconnect these 10 millimeter bolts here. So first thing we're gonna do is clamp the fuel line just so it doesn't spill fuel everywhere because that is known to happen and then we're going to unscrew the fuel clamp uh, the hose clamp rather move it out of the way and then disconnect that it's going to be gas everywhere and then go ahead and lower it down as you can see there's one fuel line still connecting the fuel pump to the generator so what we're going to do is pull the front cover off here and then take a look at where that fuel line is uh oh wait yeah, we're going to disconnect these guys. I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, so go ahead and disconnect those wires. Move back down underneath. Pull the wires through. And then, now, okay. Now here's where we're going to disconnect the fuel line. This is where those ghetto wrenches come into play. Again, I used adjustable ones. And, uh, you know, you just put those on there and, and twist the fuel pump off. Don't twist the fuel line. Twist the pump because the line's stationary and you should have enough room in there to work if your RV's set up like mine. Now here I've got the fuel filter screwed into the fuel pump. I had to put a little bit of RTV, uh, gasket maker, some red RTV in there to create a seal because the factory seal, of course, was compromised when I put it on the old pump. And I'm also going to do that down on the fuel line. You can see I'm putting some RTV down there. There it is. Looks great, doesn't it? Don't overuse it, and also make sure you don't get RTV in the hole, otherwise you're gonna have RTV in your carburetor, and that's not gonna do good things to your fuel system. Now that you screwed the fuel pump on, go ahead and torque it down. You shouldn't have to over torque it. Now my first time, I didn't put RTV on this thing when I switched out the pump, I just really, really torqued it, and guess what? Still leaked fuel. So just a little RTV, and then uh, just tighten it. Put the wires back up through the hole. If you're worried about like, I didn't know which wire went to which, I didn't pay attention, you know, uh, earlier, well, I'll show you that the, the spade clips only go one direction, so it's kind of foolproof. I went ahead and screwed my pump back on, but as you can see, uh, one of the tabs didn't line up. That is Chinese quality for you. If you're lucky, you'll get a Chinese pump that, you know, the, that the thing goes in both the slots, but mine didn't, so I just kind of screwed it off to the side. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the fuel line back on and just move the clamp you know back into place here and then we're going to use a screwdriver and we're just going to tighten that puppy back up i know it's rocket science try and hang in there with me this is crazy okay now let's go back up top these are those spade connectors i was talking about should have taught you this stuff in science class there's a male there's a female and there's another male and there's another female and they only go together one direction so with that in mind go ahead and hook those puppies up no pun intended hold down the prime button on the generator while you're out here and let's just listen Listen, okay, now the sound changes. You're gonna hear the pump fill with fuel. You're gonna hear the fuel line fill with fuel. And then the float bowl on the carburetor is gonna fill up. You'll actually hear the fuel going in there. Now I know I'm playing sound in the background and I'm talking over it, which kind of negates the fact to even play the sound in the background. Like, why am I doing that? I don't know. But if you hear this, it's like a consistent And when it's consistently then you know that everything's full of fuel. So you can stop priming. You can hit the start button, hold your breath, cross your fingers, only one set, cross two, that's bad, and bam. If you did everything right, you didn't screw it up, with four minutes and 55 seconds down, you have changed the fuel pump on your generator. 
Good job. That's it. I'm just putting oh, my tools away. Gosh, these kids are loud. Killed me. There's a guy in See, the box. This is why we need a generator. This is why we need power, because these kids, they play games. They make food all the time in the microwave. So, um, gotta have our generator power. So under five minutes, we're placing the fuel pump on the generator. Hopefully this helps you out. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions or if there's a how-to video that you would like to see, an under five minute how-to video on your RV uh, maintenance or um, repairs. Take care guys, thanks for watching.